Obvious, 3 February 2020 and flows the low water bridge just below Riverview Sugar Mill. Water is flowing strongly positive towards St. Lucia, but the water level has receded a lot. We'll do an update on St. Lucia water levels when we get there. Yeah, it's bad, and the Flosie River is still flowing positively this direction. I came over this afternoon. Well, this morning. Public slip by jetty. We're gonna do the water meter reading and see how low the water really is. Well, this is the lowest the water has been in a long time. Can't even read it. It's black. It's well below 700 millimeter. Probably the scientist will tell us the southeaster is blowing it north or south or away from here. The fact is that there's no water here. There you guys can see nicely now how low the water really is. Wayne has spotted some bird or something there in the trees. This is crazy. Call it dragonfly. And I'm walking. It's a dragonfly. Everywhere. Let's try these ones. Hmm, got slightly different rings. The remnants of a pirate, uh, I mean a poacher's boat. Okay, this is a prelude to our monkey business video. Look at the... Oops! The beautiful baby monkeys there. Yeah. They are tiny, eh? They're eating the um, gum, the resin of the trees. That is their sweets. This is a never give up tree. Look here. It's a branch. This has been broken. Snapped over. It goes down to the path. There's a green. Never give up. Looks like the other branch over there is also. Good <coughs> me. Going through into the bush.
and Surf Fishing Predictions, Tuesday, 4 February 2020. Mapelon Bay to Cape Vidal. Going to be a windy week. North Easterly is opening up at 22 kilometers an hour. Barometric pressure and 1014.58. 7 o'clock wind direction and speed and barometric pressure about the same. It's a 6 to 8 ounce fishing day on Tuesday. And um, by mid afternoon, pretty much the same. Barometric pressure drops at around about lunchtime, and the wind direction pretty much the same, wind speed the same. Good time to get some bait in the water. Late afternoon, barometric pressure keeps on dropping, wind speed's constant, but for heavy tackle fishing. Let's see what Wednesday brings, 5th of February 2020. Pretty much a very windy day. So we're going to look for something else to do on Wednesday. Maybe a game drive to Shlushlu and Falozi Game Reserve. Or even maybe a fishing outing to Cape Vidal in the bay. Charters Creek will produce good fish on Wednesday with a north, northerly wind blowing strong like this. It's going to blow the fish right into the bay at the jetty at Charters Creek. Afternoon, wind speed's picking up, barometric pressure is dropping. Late afternoon, very high wind speeds, very low barometric pressure, probably going to rain Wednesday night. By sunset, the wind is going to howl on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Thursday, they predict rain, but it doesn't look like it. If we look at the Prediction forecast for Thursday, 6th of February. Open up with a quite a windy morning and a low barometric pressure. Wind speeds dropping. Barometric pressure is climbing. Wind changes at around about 10 o'clock, so between 6 and 10 is great for fishing at Ingwe, Jabula, and Main Beach at St. Lucia. But afternoon the wind speed is picking up, barometric pressure is dropping in the afternoon. So fishing in front of the old estuary mouth with um, sea lice and prawn or sea lice and squid. Friday, they say it's going to rain, no, only during the night. Wind is going to be moderate, moderately Morning wind is very fishable. Barometric pressure is constant, wind speed is constant. Then the wind drops towards midday. Barometric pressure is all over the place. Friday looks like an excellent day for fishing. Right through lunchtime. Barometric pressure all over the place. Wind is very, very low. South south easterly. That would be your Ingwe to St. Lucia Estuary Mouth Beaches. Bait or spinner, definitely. Excellent for fishing. Late afternoon east south easterly, no good for fishing into the evening. Can stop fishing at about 3 o'clock.